it is very normal to think that anyone that likes to gamble will end up being broke. And while that might be true for a lot of people, it's not for this guy. Dan Bilzerian won $47 million playing poker in one year. Or at least that's what he said. And now he's gone on to become a very successful businessman and a social media influencer. So just how rich is he? Well, let's find out. But before we do that, we would really like it if you could click the like button to help support the channel. Remember, we make these videos for free for your entertainment and that is all we ask for in support. So hit that subscribe button while you are there too. All set? Now let's get into it. Dan Bilzerian, popularly known as the Instagram King, has a net worth of $210 million as of September 2022. He is half Armenian and half American. He was born on December 7, 1980 in Tampa, Florida. Paul Bilzerian, his father, was a corporate raider on Wall Street. And there are a lot of people that are of the opinion that his father was a fraudster. Bilzerian served a 13-month prison sentence and was also ordered to forfeit his profits after being found guilty of failing to make full and timely disclosures on Schedule 13D filings related to unsuccessful takeover attempts of Cluett Peabody & Company and Hammer Mill Paper Company in the 1980s. After this, he declared bankruptcy and had a 32-year-long legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission. For the past 33 years, Bilzerian has insisted he is both legally and factually innocent. However, there are those of the opinion that Paul kept some kind of trust fund for his children from defrauding people, and that's another major contributor to Dan's wealth. Nobody can prove that though, so we're just going to shut up about that. Now, Dan attended a number of schools during his formative years, and he eventually decided to enroll at the University of Florida to study business and criminology. His father wanted him to follow in his footsteps and become a successful businessman. However, Dan had other plans, or at least he thought he did when he quit school, in order to try out for a SEAL training program. And what was a shocking twist of fate, Dan failed at his training after dropping out of school to enroll in SEAL training, and following an incident on the range, a firearms instructor barred Dan from finishing the training. Bilzerian began playing poker in 2009 and finished 180th in a World Series poker event. Dan apparently won $12.8 million at one particularly legendary event. Playing a single round of Heads Up No Limit Hold'em at stakes ranging from $5,000 to $10,000, he claimed that he won $10.8 million. He immediately hopped on a private jet and flew to Mexico to celebrate after winning. He is a co-founder of Victory Poker and was voted the funniest poker player on Twitter by Bluff Magazine. Dan also claimed that he won more than $50 million in a single year of playing in prestigious tournaments. Many professional poker players, however, challenged Dan's claim, stating that his alleged earnings exceeded those of the best players in the game. Many of Dan's close friends claim that he isn't even really good at playing poker and that there is no way he could have made his money through the game. More recently, Dan Bilzerian was signed as a brand ambassador for the online poker site GG Poker. Naturally, there was some criticism from the poker world as there is with pretty much anything Dan Bilzerian does or has his name attached to. Dan Bilzerian responded to the comments with some fairly offensive retorts, but GG Poker has continued to honor the contract. He has also made appearances in the movies Olympus Has Fallen, Lone Survivor, The Other Woman, Extraction, The Equalizer, Cat Run 2, and 2016's War Dogs, in addition to his poker play. Eventually, Bilzerian filed a lawsuit against the Lone Survivor's producers, claiming that he had given the company $1 million in return for at least 8 minutes of screen time and 80 words of dialogue. His screen time in the finished movie was less than a minute, and he only had one brief line of conversation. His lawsuit sought the original amount he paid, plus 20%, which should amount to $1.2 million. It was ultimately dismissed, since Dan had received so much media attention about the matter, and the success of the movie is said to have allowed him to recover his investment in full. He claims that he made $1.5 million due to the film's success. Bilzerian received a lot of attention when he declared his intention to run for the President of the United States in 2016. However, he eventually decided against running for President and endorsed Donald Trump. He enjoys a very high level of popularity on Instagram and his amazing Playboy lifestyle has drawn quite a lot of followers. He currently has about 33.6 million followers on Instagram. Dan has been featured in numerous magazines, including Playboy and Penthouse, because of his wild Playboy lifestyle. 
Additionally, he sat down for an interview with Howard Stern that lasted for more than an hour. And the interview mostly consisted of Howard gushing over Dan's stories of sexual conquest and unimaginably lavish lifestyle. Bilzerian hangs out with people like Floyd Mayweather and DJ Steve Aoki and is quite open about his Casanova lifestyle and hookup culture. He also owns his own company called Ignite. Dan Bilzerian launched Ignite International Brands LTD, a business that distributes e-cigarettes, CBD oil, vodka, and water bottles as a byproduct of his fame on Instagram. Ignite is clearly tied to the smoking of weed and cannabis, and Dan Bilzerian even makes the claim that it is the world's first worldwide cannabis brand. Dan Bilzerian has also admitted to smoking weed before, presumably for its sedative effects, before and even during workouts. However, Dan confessed in a 2021 interview that the market's restrictions on distribution made him regret entering the cannabis business. Although the company hasn't done well due to a volatility of the cannabis industry, it is still worth over $100 million as of July 2022. Ignite changed its strategy to concentrate on vape sales as a result, and the market welcomed the new product line with open arms. Dan claimed that the company's Q4 results in 2021 put the naysayers to rest and showed a hugely profitable year. Dan Bilzerian can also be considered an author as well because he has written and published his own book, The Setup. The memoir-style book is chock full of wild stories and even stranger images. From his early years to his current high-profile status, the book walks readers through all of Dan's most memorable experiences, including his time in the military, his love of firearms, and of course gambling. Oh, and women too. So we can also assume that he's made some money from the sales of his book as well. How does Dan Bilzerian spend his money? Dan spent most of the last 10 years living in Las Vegas, Bel Air, and the Hollywood Hills. For tax purposes, Dan's primary residence is Las Vegas, Nevada. He spent $4.1 million on a five-bedroom property in Summerlin South in 2014. In 2017, he sold the house for $5.1 million, and soon after, he spent $10 million on a brand new home close by. Dan also reportedly paid $50,000 per month to rent a monstrous four-story, 12-bedroom Bel Air house in 2018. Prior to that, he had been paying $39,000 a month to rent his house in the Hollywood Hills. In his new mansion, which he wants to feel like a nightclub, there are five bars, a two-lane bowling alley, a wine cellar, a movie theater, and a sports room. Dan also owns a private jet. His private jet is a 1987 Gulfstream G4 with a maximum seating capacity of 22 passengers. The property is registered to a company called Goat Airways LLC probably a reference to the greatest of all time, with its headquarters in Santa Monica, California. Many people think that the aircraft's registration number, which finishes in the letters DB, is a deliberate reference to Dan Bilzerian. Dan's private plane appeared briefly during the presidential campaign between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. It turned out that during her campaign, Clinton frequently chartered Dan's plane from a third-party charter company. Of course, he also owns a lot of cars. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll know that Dan also collects a lot of luxury cars in addition to his private jet, attractive women, and firearms. Some of the cars in Dan's collection include a $250,000 Rolls Royce, a $1.5 million Mercedes AMG 66, G63 Brabus, and a $1 million Lamborghini. Dan Bilzerian also owns a Bentley Continental GT that's worth more than $900,000 US dollars. We all have our different opinions about Dan Bilzerian and his lifestyle, but one thing that everyone can agree on is that the man is a genius influencer who knows how to make money. So what do you think though? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section, and if you've watched till the end, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. If you liked the video, check this next one, and we'll catch you all next time.